All right, so we are back to the start because to now we're going to make our own dinosaur park, okay? It's very important that we keep very quiet, okay? Because today we're going to record some sounds and I don't want you screaming too loudly in the house, okay? You might scare your mum or dad, okay? So before we go any further, does anyone want to tell me what this dinosaur is called? What this dinosaur is called? Um, oops. Someone who hasn't talked much. Micah, what is that dinosaur called? That dinosaur is called a T-Rex. That is a T-Rex. Fantastic. So who wants to tell me what the... Um, what the other one is called. Uh, I'm going to allow, oops, allow. Uh, whoops. Oh, someone's uh, hands down. You want to tell me what the other dinosaur is called, Edric? Yes. What is it? A stegosaurus. A stegosaurus. Fantastic. All right. So we have two dinosaurs, okay? But did you know that these dinosaurs, they never actually met each other, okay? The T-Rex existed 70 million years ago, okay? T-Rex existed 70 million years ago. And the Stegosaurus existed 150 million years ago, okay? 150 million years ago. Let me, let me, just, de let me just demonstrate what that means, okay? I'm just gonna show you something. All right, imagine, um, we have a timeline, right? This is a timeline. And then at the very end, we have us, okay? This might be like um, uh, Ethan, okay? This is Ethan here. This is, this is nowadays, right? And then right about here, is 150 million years ago. And then this is where Stegosaurus was, okay? Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus. T-Rex existed right here, which is 70 million years ago. And this is T-Rex, okay? And then when did the dinosaurs actually go extinct? About here. This is about 65 million years ago, okay? So the T-Rex is actually more likely to have eaten Ethan than it is to have eaten the Stegosaurus, okay? Because the T-Rex, uh, came, uh, existed in the late Cretaceous period and the Stegosaurus exists in the Jurassic period, okay? Very, very cool little fact. You can tell your teachers that one day, okay? When, you, when you're in class, you can tell them, did you know that the Stegosaurus and the T-Rex never actually met each other, okay? Uh, you can tell them that the T-Rex is actually more likely to have met us than to have met Stegosaurus. Okay, just a very fun little fact before we do our next exercise, which is, of course, to build our dinosaur park. Okay, so we're going to share screen. Uh, we have to get rid of our cat because our dinosaur park does not have any cats. We go get, get rid of that. And then what I want you to do is choose a dinosaur theme for your backdrop. Okay, so I would say it's probably an outdoors place more than an indoor space. Yeah, outdoors. Uh, well, what kind of places can we go? We're going to have a blue sky. I want you to choose your own, okay? You don't have to choose exactly what I'm choosing, but you know, it's got to make sense. Probably not underwater. Um, uh, probably, oh, Jurassic looks good. Jurassic or jungle looks good. Oh man, these both look good. I'm going to have my dinosaur park in Jurassic because that's the name of Jurassic Park, right? You no, know, Jurassic Park is where dinosaurs came from. So I'm going to choose Jurassic Park. Maybe you have a dinosaur uh, that is at the bench or something if you wanted to. Okay. All right. So now we have the backdrop for our dinosaur park. Now I want to add a dinosaur. 
Okay, so I'm going to choose a sprite and then I'm going to choose a dinosaur. I'm going to animals. I assume a dinosaur is going to be an animal. Ah, yes. Here are some dinosaurs. Okay, we got dinosaur one, dinosaur two, dinosaur three, four, and five. I'm going to go for dinosaur four. This looks like a T Rex. I, I just love a T Rex. So here is my dinosaur T Rex. Now, what I want to do is to make it walk across um, and follow my um, uh, walk across to a um, uh, the sand and then make a make a roar sound. Okay. Do you think you can do that? We've already done it. Uh, we've already you know, learned how to make a sound and we've also learned how to make things move, okay? So I want you to see if you can make a dinosaur move across the sand, maybe when you tap on it, maybe when you click on the dinosaur to move across the sand and uh, go roar, okay? I'll give you one minute to, to get a head start. Who, does anybody, is anybody already doing it? Is anybody already? Um, already you're doing the park. Hmm, I wonder how many dinosaurs are going to be in your park. Uh, that is going to be an interesting question. Those dinosaurs, they like to socialize, don't they? So we've got to make sure we have a few dinosaurs in this park. Okay, I'm going to go grab my T-Rex and give it an event. And go, when this sprite clicked, I'm going to go give it some motion. I'm going to say, Go to, instead of go, go to random position. Uh, oh, I'm going to, no, I'm going to glide. That's what I want to do. Glide. Oh, I'm going to use this one. Glide. Five seconds to X, Y. Okay. And then I'm going to change the X value. So this is um, uh, a number that we can change the position of this dinosaur. I'm going to make it 200. Oh, let's go 150, 150, 150, just for the X value, okay? So when this sprite is clicked, it's gonna glide five seconds over and move its X value, okay? So I'm gonna click it, uh, there it goes. It's moving from one side of the screen to the other, okay? So it's gliding five seconds, which is kind of cool, okay? And then I can just um, stop the program and then I can just drag it back over here. Whoops, stop the program. And then, oh no. All right, what do I got to do? Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> I need to make it go to X, Y first, okay? When I, uh, when I, when I, when I tap it, okay? So uh, we go X, Y, we go from negative 150, and then we go glide to 150, okay? So we go tap it, and it goes brr, 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 all the way across. Okay, but now we got to make it make a sound. Okay, so we're going to sound. What sound are we going to make? Well, we got play sound pop until done and start sound pop. When you go down, there's no other sounds. Well, this is, this is what I was talking about before. We need to make sure that everybody's not going to be woken up by your screaming, okay? Because you're going to have to pretend to be a dinosaur to record this sound, okay? You're going to record. And then, as soon as I press the record button, I'm going to record a dinosaur roar, okay? This is going to be really embarrassing. Roar. <laughs> okay, so after you've recorded your roar, you go save. And then, uh, this is on your sounds tab. So you gotta click back onto your code tab. And then we go play sound, I mean, start sound recording one, okay? Start sound recording one, which is the roar. And then you drag it in between. And then when I press it, you gotta hear my terrible voice again. There, there we go. We have our dinosaur doing a dinosaur roar. I want you to add Another two more dinosaurs, if you can, okay? Two more dinosaurs, maybe they can make different sounds, okay? Because that is that is the fun thing about, about Scrap, is that you can make your own sounds, you can make it maybe one dinosaur goes roar, and then the other dinosaur might be like chirp, 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 okay? You can do whatever sounds you want, <laughs> okay? Who, who's having fun? Who, who has a question? Who has a question? Who wants to ask me a question?
you want to ask me a question, make sure you raise your hand. If you're signing in from YouTube or Facebook, make sure you, um, uh, first of all, welcome. Uh, and if you have any questions, just write it in the comment section below, okay? Just write me a question and then I will answer you as soon as I get off the screen. Uh, thank you very much for your patience. I know uh, some people who have done this before may, may find it a little bit slow, but like I said at the start of the stream, today is all about introducing all of our new friends and family who are joining this stream for the first time, who are using Scratch for the first time, okay? Uh, Edric, you wanted to say something? So, could you help me find the sound because because my mom can't find sand and so can't I. Ah, uh, okay, no problem. Okay, I'll show you, okay? So I go into Scratch Desktop. Do you see, um, uh, have you got your code um, very similar to this? So you got your dinosaur? Yep. Okay. Uh, and then you've got Start Sound, right? And does it say Pop? Mm -hmm. okay. So now what we have to do is you need to go into Record, okay? You press Record. Okay, that's good. And then when you want to record your sound, you press the record button and then you scream into the microphone, okay? Well, scream. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then you press the stop button. <laughs> I hope you're taking a video of this, Mum. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and then after you've saved it, then what you have to do is you go back into the code tab, okay? Make sure you go into code tab. There you go. Yeah, we're on the code tab. And then you go click on the drop menu of your start sound and then find recording one, okay? Which is where you've recorded your sound. There you go. Have you got it working now, Edric? Yes. Yes, so thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. No problem, Edric. So that's as easy as it is, guys. If you have any questions, then all you have to do is raise your hand. Uh, the power of technology means that I'll be able to interact with you in real time, okay, uh, as best I can. We still have 10 minutes to go, but um, uh, feel free to continue on building your dinosaur park, okay? This is the fun part where we can spend a good 10 minutes um, uh, where I answer your questions and also where you can experiment at home, okay? So if you're at home following along, uh, make sure you add at least two more dinosaurs, okay? two more dinosaurs, and I want them to have different sounds, okay? So um, here, I'm going to add another dinosaur. I'm going to make a charge at each other. I'm going to make the dinosaurs charge at each other. Animals. I have this, like, this pink dinosaur. All right. I wanted to charge at my other dinosaur when, when I go, but uh, I need it to actually be looking the other way. So I go into looks and then I can go to, well, actually, actually I'll go through that another time, okay? Uh, we'll have to have a race. Over here, dinosaur, pink dinosaur has no code, okay? Uh, because all our code is on the green dinosaur. Okay, so we go on the pink dinosaur. We have to go events. When this sprite clicks. And then we're going to go motion, uh, go to XY. So this is where it's starting. And then we're going to give it a roar sound. Oh, whoops, a sound, a start sound. And then we're going to go motion. And then we're going to glide. Uh, glide five seconds to X, Y. And then I'm gonna change that to 150. Oh, there we go. Moving along. But we don't want a pop sound. We want to make another roar sound. So I gotta hit that pop sound. You gotta hit another record. Oh, this, what kind of, what kind of sound could this dinosaur make? I'm gonna make it, make it do a more of a, more of a mooing sound, right? Okay. Right. That is very embarrassing. Oh man. Okay. Go save. And then I go back to code. And then start sound recording one. Okay. So now I got a, two dinosaurs that make sounds when I click on them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Have you got your dinosaur park working? Did you enjoy the lesson? Who's, uh, who wants to uh, tell, tell me about their dinosaur park? Does anyone want to put their hand up to tell me about their dinosaur park? No, everyone's a little bit shy. Well, that's what we were here to do today, guys. So today was all about setting up Scratch 3 for the first time, uh, running Scratch, learning how to save a file, okay? And learning how to do sounds, how to do simple events, like using the flag and using when the sprite is clicked. And we also learned very simple motion as well. We learned how to use the glide command so that we can move uh, objects from, from one side of the screen to another. Okay, uh, if you have any more questions, uh, I will be sticking around for another 10 minutes where you can raise your hand and ask me questions. Uh, but if not, make sure you save your game, save your uh, dinosaur park, make sure you name it something that will make sense, okay? So that you can show your mums and dads when they, uh, when they are, are able to watch it, okay? So I'll teach you how to save it one more time. So you go into file, and then you go save to your computer. And then I'm gonna call it Dinosaur Park. Okay, and then I go save. And then that's your Dinosaur Park, okay? 